And then this is for all our happy messages while we're on the road. We have the liquid chalk. And the cool thing is it lifts up and out of the way to reveal the whole battery system. Energy from the sun, the solar panels. And then we run almost everything off this and we've never had any issues having enough power. All right, what will be the future spice rack? Right now it has just candy and nuts. And then this is the battery charging bank where we keep all of the rechargeable batteries that we need to recharge off of the alternator. And so anytime one of the little smaller portable battery banks goes to the power, we usually have a charging one waiting there. The bathroom, storage, living room, that's where we get our amazing views through the slider, couch, fridge full of beers, kitchen, nice running water, kitchen storage, cupboards, which Steve adapted from regular old kitchen um, covers. So this was built just with PVC pipe, plumbing pipes, and we saw it on YouTube with someone else who has come up with this design. Spindle around, tighten it, and then two magnets to get it to stick back in the wall where we like it to store so it doesn't move while you're driving. Still got to make a cover for that one but that is also stored there. There is a very doggy friendly portion of it which is this dog door goes through the bulkhead and into the cab. So the dogs can always run back and forth. And not only that, but it's also our escape route. Steve put these awesome puck lights in everywhere along the roof line that can really light up this place. And then here was my contribution. <laughs> I took a magnet and combined it with a drawer pull and then that makes a place to hang stuff up wherever those one of those screws move. We have our fly and mat curtain that we can spread along the back, keeping the bugs out. So here I made these curtains out of dish towel propane for running the heater and the stove. Up here we have the, it runs on a separate, um, unattached battery um, bank, little brick. And then it, we have an on-off switch that's waterproof. And then we can have fresh water in the van. This is all Steve. He made this from his own design from scratch. A lot better than what we used to have, which is a plastic musty sink. Except this kitchen wall opens up too. So These are poly ISO foam panels, and then you can still have plenty of room to store some kitchen foods and stuff there. And then this little silicone mat for baking and cooking and prepping foods. And then a little cutting board at the side that's also silicone covered, and then you can just scrape your vegetable cuttings into the sink when you're done. 
so that's kind of handy. And that all folds down and is hidden within the wall when you're not doing your cooking. Bathroom cupboard. That's above here. Paper towels mirror. Little security camera from Arlo with the power for that being another power bank. gave me this home sweet home sign for the van and we have the fire uh, alarm a Dometic fridge and freezer which has only beer right now that runs off of the goal zero our living room place to sit and then of course this is the Murphy bed that comes down on these ropes Right now secured to boat cleats that comes down. And for storage we have this tower that was our dirty laundry bins before we moved them into the van. This wall with hidden space is I think our dirty clothes. I have a pump that I can seal the plastic bags. Um, but these great space bags. And so basically you put your dirty laundry in there, pump all the air up, and your dirty clothes are not going to be stinky until you can get to the laundromat. So that's really cool. And it serves as insulation inside this spot. And you have your political messages in here too.